Okay, so let's take it back a step and let's just say I want to use my half guard. He's playing his Henry Egan style, he starts to walk his foot up and then he starts pushing on my on the knee and then I, I start I stop his knee, he wants the underhook and comes through. Let's just say he went for the cut cross pass, I pushed his knee in and we ended up in half guard. He hasn't freed his knee or his foot, I just a triangle, makes a triangle of his leg. Common response is Matthew makes a wedge with his left foot, sticks it in behind the back of my right knee, and now he can put his head on the mat and start to tripod up to free his knee line, and now we're back into the last move again where he'll free his foot. Boom, oh, and stick through. Of course, I can go back into the last move and hit the sweep if that happens, but another thing, I could hit the sweep earlier than that. So let's just say we're here. The minute he brings his foot in, now earlier in the mesocycle, we looked at how I would pinch my knees together. So Matthew tries to free his foot, it's difficult. And then I just lean towards my left to take the weight off this left leg. Hand goes in the knee, and then I just push. Now he's back inside my close guard. We looked at that earlier in the mesocycle, but another thing is from that position is when he goes for that move, there's a sweep there as well. So I'm still pinching with my knees. And I feel that maybe the guard isn't on. And again, if Matthew wants to free himself this way, all his weight will be to my right. So I can bring my knees towards my chest. And I still have, even though he's an underhook, I still have a wizard on that arm. And I have the underhook on his because he was pulling up on this. He's giving me the underhook. So now it's just knees to my chest and now I'm just redirecting him over. Bring my head to the other side. So we're in half guard, Matthew starts to walk up with his foot and then he starts to free his knee, uh, the knee and I'm pushing, he wants the underhook and now I've still got the knee line but now he makes the decision to make that wedge with his left foot. So from here I just pinch on my knees which stops him from taking that foot back out again and I bring my knees towards my chest. I have the wizard on the underhook, and again, very last, like the last move. My hips are under his, so I can just chop him over. Bring my head to the other side, and now we're in set of control. So, options from the half guard, if they make that response of bringing, making a wedge to try and free their knee line.